Welcome back to A Closer Look. Most people have heard of the Freedom of Information Act, but may not know a lot about it. Here to explain to us all about FOIA is Monica Wilburn, Records and Freedom of Information Act Manager with the City. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. So what is the Freedom of Information Act? So the Freedom of Information Act, or FOIA, is sometimes called a sunshine law in other states. So you may have heard it referred to as that. Mm -hmm. It's a law. And what it does is it governs access to public records that the city has by citizens of Virginia and members of the media that circulates or broadcasts in Virginia. So what is your job as FOIA manager with the city? My job is to facilitate that process. Mm -hmm. So we get those requests in and I review them and I work with the departments to get the responsive mm -hmm. records figure out if they're releasable, and then get them back to the requesters. I also work with the requesters if they have any questions about how mm -hmm. the process works. So what is FOIA used for? It's used for getting public records. Mm -hmm. It's not so much a request for information. So if you have a question, that's not going to be covered by FOIA. But if you need a copy of a public record, that's when you can invoke the Freedom of Information Act. Okay, so how many types of FOIA are there? So there's not really different types per mm -hmm. se. Um, we generally break it down into some broad categories. There's FOIAs for most of the city and then there's also police FOIA mm -hmm. requests. Mm -hmm. um, but there aren't really specific types of FOIA. So if someone were to call up or send an email asking for a copy of something, mm -hmm. that's a FOIA? Yes. Any request for public records. They are not required to say I'm submitting a Freedom of Information Act request or say the word FOIA. All they have to do is request those records and that is a FOIA request. So a FOIA request can cover, basically it's government agencies? Yes, it's government agencies. For our FOIA, as the city of Chesapeake, that's going to include most of the city records. The elected officials do have their own FOIA officers. So that's going to be the commissioner of the revenues office, okay. the treasurer's office, clerk of the circuit court, sheriff's office, and the commonwealth attorney's office. So they have their own FOIA officers. Their contact information is available at cityofchesapeake.net slash FOIA. The public schools also have their own FOIA officer as they are a separate public agency. Okay. However, if people don't know where records are supposed to be and they submit the request to me and we don't have the records, right. I will tell them that and I'll tell them who does. So what is the timeline? Say if I send you an email requesting a record, how long do you have to get it back to me? So FOIA allows us five business days for an initial response. We try to get it done within that five business mm -hmm. days, but sometimes it's not practically possible, in which case we can invoke an extension of an additional seven business days for a total of 12 business days. A business day is going to exclude weekends and is going to exclude city closures. If we do need that additional seven business days, we are going to let the requester know by the end of day five that we need the additional time. So they're going to hear something from us either way by the end of day five. Is there a cost associated if I have a request for a public record? Sometimes. FOIA allows us to charge for our actual costs incurred searching for those records and duplicating and fulfilling the request. Generally, that's going to be just a labor time mm -hmm. because we like to fulfill things electronically whenever possible. Mm -hmm. Sometimes requesters prefer hard copies, in which case there may be copy charges or there may be postage. However, we do waive the fees if it's going to cost less than $10 or take less than 15 minutes of time in most cases. Requesters mm -hmm. do have the option to ask for an advanced cost estimate if they want to know how much it's going to cost to fulfill their request. Also, if we think it's going to be more than $200, we will ask the requester to pay an advance deposit. Because that may take a lot of time to gather that information. Correct. So say if someone has a request for a document, can you talk about how you may redact information or why you would? Yes. So there is this thing called an exemption, and an exemption is a legal reason that we can or have to withhold information. So sometimes that's gonna be a whole document, sometimes it's gonna be part of a document. If only part of a document falls under an exemption, we just redact it, we don't withhold the whole thing. So there's a whole bunch of them, mm -hmm. but for example, social security numbers. 
We are legally mm -hmm. required to redact the first five digits of a social security number. I can't release that. So mm -hmm. when someone gets their response, they're going to see the first five digits of a social security number redacted. Same with bank, bank account mm -hmm. numbers. Let's say someone put a copy of a check into a file. I redact the bank account number and the routing number. Which is a good thing, obviously. Yes. <laughs> so that's good to know. Uh, can a FOIA request be denied? Yes, it can. If all of the records are exempt, then we will deny the request, okay. but you're still going to receive a written response. If the requester has unpaid fees from more than 30 days ago, we can reject the request. Okay. And also, we are not required to respond to out-of-state requests. Sometimes we do, but we do have the option to deny those as well. Okay, and you get a lot of FOIA requests. We do. And you get them from different from citizens as well as the media, of course. That's correct. So is a FOIA request confidential? Not generally. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it is. Like, let's say someone's involved in a social services matter, mm -hmm. and they submit a FOIA request for those records. And releasing that request would identify them as associated with that matter. Mm -hmm. In that case, we would we would not release that information. Okay. But generally it's not. If there's any questions about confidentiality, I'm happy to handle those on a case-by-case -case basis. So where can someone find out more information about the Freedom of Information Act? So we do have the city's website, cityofchesapeake.net mm -hmm. slash FOIA, and that's in general information. There's also cityofchesapeake.net slash FOIA portal, that's where you can submit a request, but there's an entire FAQ section that has a lot of useful okay. information about FOIA. If the information isn't covered there and they still have further questions or they have something a little bit more specific, they can always email me at foia at cityofchesapeake.net. Okay, great. Well, thank you, Monica. I appreciate it. That's thank you. great information. Well, that does it for this edition of A Closer Look. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.